Welcome to the YouTube channel of Farooq Higher Secondary School. Myself, Muhammad Sadiq, Department of Botany, Farooq Higher Secondary School. Dear students, so in the last class, we will complete the two main process in pre-fertilization. Microsporogens and microgametogenesis. Okay, now we will pass on to three terms. Nega screen lagana. Pollen viability, pollen bank, and cement bank. Imona term alana, namla deed discussing. Pollen viability. The period for which pollen grains remain functionally is called pollen. Viability or the liveness of a pollen is called viability. Whenever the pollen grains are shedding from a flower, we can see a live period or life period of pollen. It is called viability and it is depend on two main factors. One is called Temperature, another one is called humidity. First one, temperature. High temperature leads to dryness and decrease the viability period. And high humidity and low temperature will increase the viability period. And also, the viability may be differ from species to species. In the Namukaparayamba. For example, in some serines like rice and wheat, the viability may be only 30 minutes, but at the same time, some families like Rosaceae, Leguminosae, or Fabaceae, and in Solanaceae, the viability may retain above one month. So it is very clear the lifetime or Period for which pollen grains remain function is called viability period. And the second one, pollen bank. Either the pollen grains are stored for many years in liquid nitrogen at minus 196 degrees Celsius and it is called pollen bank. Such as stored pollen grains are called pollen bank and the technique is called cryopreservation. And the stored pollen grains we can use for crop breeding programs. That is the tissue culture polula technique of pollen and the medicine. If you can explain the idea of your camera. Extinct plants are the E parts of the preservation technique on cryopreservation. And it is done by stored such materials in liquid nitrogen at minus 196 degrees Celsius. And it is called cryopreservation. And stored pollen is called pollen bank. And the same case, cement bank. So here, the superior seven of male animal is collected and it is stored in liquid nitrogen is minus 196 degrees Celsius and it is also called cryopreservation and such stored stamens are called the seven band and it is used for artificial insemination in animal breeding programs. Okay. And the discuss pollen viability, pollen bank and seven bank. Okay, now we will pass on to the uses and harmful aspects of pollen grains. In this screen, uses. The pollen grains are rich in nutrients like proteins, carbohydrates, vitamins and 
unsaturated fatty acids. So they are used as food supplements in the form of pollen tablets, energy shakers and syrups. And they are also used as cosmetics as pollen cream and also pollen consumption increase the performance of athletes and race horses that is the pollen tablets can increase the performance of athletes and also to increase the performance of race horses so these three are the main uses of pollen grains pollen grains are used as food supplements in the form of tablets energy shakers and energy shakers and syrup then they are also used as cosmetics as pollen grain and the third one is they can increase the performance of pollen consumption increase the performance of athletes and race horses okay now we will pass on to the harmful aspects pollen grains some of the pollen grains they cause allergy and toxicity for example parthenium hysterophorus padamkana ariyam eupedorium plants loke paladu adinte pollen grains toxic aan allergic aan and they can also cause respiratory disorders like asthma and bronchitis rendu harmful aspects aan they cause allergy and toxicity and also they cause respiratory disorders like asthma and bronchitis ab idana pollen grains the uses and harmful aspects nu varu okay now we will pass on to the second part of the pre fertilization screen ne nokkam piston or gynecium pa namukku ariyam gynecium is the female reproductive world and it is composed of carpels and gynecium is composed of stamens and gynecium is composed of carpels thana namukku ariyam carpel is the female reproductive part if it is single is called monocarpellary as in pea flower more than one carpel is become multi carpellary for example hibiscus and the carpels may be free or united free is become apocarpus and united is become syncarpus apocarpus for example rose and mycelia lotus syncarpus united aan for example hibiscus tomato and mustard each carpel is having three main parts a solen base and portion is called ovary and a long stalk style style and the stigma aan stigma is having receptive disc for the collection of pollen grains and the ovary is having a ovarian cavity locule namu pore first year padicha vagana if it is one is become unilocular bilocular trilocular and multilocular condition ovarian cavity idinullilana ovules ovules are depend on a specialized fluid tissue called placenta placenta provides nutrients to developing ovule or development of ovule to seeds and then i'm going to okay now we will pass on to the structure of ovule or megasporangium night shrikiga ninge screen la picture nokka valare important aayidu or bhagana night shrikiga structure nokka ovule or megasporangium is a small globular structure is having two main parts a stalk and a body stalk is called funicle the funicle is having a vascular connection or strand xylem and phloem tissue for providing nutrients to ovule then the point 
for junction at which the stalk is connected to the body of the ovule is called hilum. Hilum is called the point or junction where the cloniculus connects to the body of the ovule is called hilum. Then protective envelopes or finger line structures called integument one. Outer end, outer integument, inner one is inner integument. An ovule is having two main portion. Chalancil end in the varayam, micropylar end. Basin part is called chalancil end. And there is a narrow pore in the integument is called micropyl and the end is called micropylar end. And then the varayam. Then, Nocellus. Nocellus. Embryo sac in a cover in the portion on Nocellus. Nocellus is a diploid parenchymatous tissue which provides nutrients to the cells of embryo sac. Nocellus. Then central embryo sac. Yearly cell is a nucleus of monogram. Seven cell is a nucleated structure. Chalazal and Chalazal and Basil are three homogeneous parenchymatous cells, antipodals, micropylar and one exam, two synergies totally called megabaritis. Central, central cell, secondary cell, polar cell, central nuclei, secondary nuclei, polar nuclei. So totally. 7 cell 8 nucleated structure and in majority of the angiosperm ovule is inverted so it is called anatropous ovule the remaining portion we will take on another class next class thank you